Hi, I'm Harry Berry. Welcome to Media Bites, where we've all got royal fever. The royals have just touched down in Sydney. Big round of applause, everyone. <laughs> yes, breakfast TV went big and live for the royal touchdown. Has anyone turned up at this early hour to greet them? No! Kensington, we have a problem. Reportedly, we're not on that British Airways fly. This is a little bit embarrassing, but apparently... What? Hilarious. The press pack got the wrong plane. Do you ever get the feeling you've just wasted what? an hour? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but it's been some brilliant commentary. And every step the couple took, the Australian media was there to follow. The Duke and Duchess might have been as surprised by the Australian news helicopters as by the gloomy Sydney skyline. And what about the fashion on the field? Oh! oh. So there you go, there's your first look at the, at the beautiful dress that Meghan is wearing. Yes, it was all about the dress. And then, guess what happened? The Sydney designer whose frock broke the internet. And what about Harry? What was he wearing? Nobody cares, because Carl has a much better question. <laughs> I'm not sure this is appropriate, but Carl would like to know what Prince Harry smells like. Oh, quite nice. <laughs> <laughs> or even Manly, and thank heavens for that, because, you know... The great wait is over. A royal baby is announced. Halleluja, die Spekulationen haben ein Ende. Breaking overnight, royal baby on board. Yep, can you believe it? Ginger and Meghan are prigs with a true blue air dinkum. And... Over in the UK, the Daily Star has led with uh, Megas Preggers. Classy stuff, but not quite as classy as the Daily Mail, which offered us this image of what the child might look like. Ah! So, now the news is out, what's next for the media? People will be so excited to see the first image of the Duchess of Sussex with a baby bump. Bump watch. Bump, bump watch. <laughs> yes. Well. So we can expect quite a lot of that. But you're all too late, because Michael Rowland at the ABC was onto it before the announcement. Am I good <laughs> or am I perfect? I have... Oh, Jesus <laughs> But if that man is perfect, the editors of New Idea and Women's Day are bloody geniuses, because they knew about the royal baby earlier this month, and in September, and in August, and in July. Someone get them a Walkley. Oh, it's been a rollicking start to the old royal tour, hasn't it? Yeah, all of those we just got great a little Sorry to disturb you, we just got a little cuddle. And a beard scratch. Oh. It seems like they'll be pretty OK with kids. And with another two weeks to go, who knows what other talents the royals will reveal. Flies are friendly in Dubbo too. <laughs> he needs one of these. And we'll be back with a buzz. 9.15 on Monday night on the ABC for Media Watch. Don't miss it.